Hi everyone, today I decided to do a more everyday natural eye look that you can do with any bold lip. And I gave you four bold lip options. Um, I love every single one of them. So if you'd like to see how I got this look, then just keep watching. To prime my face, I'm using the Wet n Wild Coverall Primer, and I'm just using my fingers and really working that into my skin. So for foundation, I'm trying out the Unique mineral touch liquid foundation and I'm just applying a few drops to my brush at first and applying that all over my face and this gives a really natural coverage so I decided that I wanted a more full coverage because of my breakouts on my cheeks so I went in with a, another pump of the foundation on the brush I applied it directly to the brush and then to my face and I love the coverage that it gave And on camera for some reason this foundation looks like it's a little bit too light for my skin but in person in natural lighting it is a perfect match. For concealer, I use the NYX HD Concealer. This is by far my favorite concealer right now. Um, this is in the shade Porcelain, and I'm just applying that to my normal highlight and conceal areas. To set all the areas that I use concealer, I'm using the Rimmel Stay Matte Powder. This is a really good powder just to set everything down. You can also use this all over your face and it'll give a really natural matte finish. To set the rest of my face, I'm using the NYX Hydra Touch Foundation Powder. This is my favorite foundation powder right now. It gives just the right amount of coverage and it also stays all day with no transfer. To bronze up my face, I'm using the Too Faced Chablis Soleil Bronzer, and I'm just applying that to my normal bronzing areas, so my cheekbones, my temples, my forehead, a little bit on the sides of the nose, and under the jawline. For contour, I'm using the NYX Contour Palette and I'm using this third shade here 
it's a really good ashy tone brown um, and it's not too warm but it's not too cool and I'm just applying that with an elf contour brush right under my cheekbones and then using my bronzer brush just to blend it out. I'm also putting this anywhere else that I want to contour so around my forehead on my temples and a little bit on my nose and then I'm using an eyeshadow brush just to blend that out. For blush, I'm using the Makeup Geek blush in the shade Soulmate. I'm just applying that with a dual fiber brush just on the apples of my cheeks and then I'm using an e.l.f. stippling brush and just blending that out. For highlight, I'm using one of the e.l.f. baked highlighters. These are brand new. And I'm using the shade Moonlight Pearls. It's a really pretty champagne color with not too much pink, but not too much gold. It's absolutely gorgeous. Next, I'm going in with a couple of single eyeshadows. The first one that I'm using is the color Truffle from Ofra Cosmetics. It's just a really pretty warm brown transition color. Next I'm going in with the shade Poppy from Mirabella Cosmetics. It's a pink champagne color and I'm just applying that all over my lid. Next I'm going in with Bark from Mirabella. It's just a really warm, dark brown color. Here I'm going in with both of the crease colors and I'm just applying that to my lower lash line and smudging it out just a little bit. For eyeliner I'm using the NYX Matte Liquid Liner as always and I'm just doing a very thin line across the lid and then I'm doing a very small flick at the end. Here I'm just tight lining the upper lash line with the NYX Treasury Gel Pencil in Black and then I'm also applying the NYX Treasury Pencil in Brown on my lower lash line and smudging it out just a little bit.
For mascara, I'm using the Maybelline Lash Sensational Mascara. I'm just applying that to my top lashes and then I'm going in with false lashes and I'm using the Ardell Demi Wispies. For my bottom lashes, I'm using the MAC Giga Black Lash. This is by far the best mascara that I have found for my lower lashes. It defines them and lengthens them to perfection. As always for brows, I'm using the NYX Micro Brow Pencil in the shade Chocolate. And I'm just applying that to my brows in light strokes first underlining them and then filling in any sparse areas and then making sure to use the spoolie to brush out the product so that it's not too harsh. For lip option number one, this is the NYX Liquid Suede Cream Lipstick in the shade Stone Fox. It's a very gray based blue. It is absolutely gorgeous on the lips. For lip option number two, this is the NYX Soft Matte Lip Cream in the shade Transylvania. It's a purpley berry color, but it is super dark and I love it for fall. For lip option number three, this is the Oprah Cosmetics collaboration with Kathleen Lights in the shade Havana Nights. It is a really pretty brick red color. It's super dark once it dries down and it's another great shade for fall. For lip option number four, I'm using the Dirty Little Secret Matte Lipstick in the shade Phantom, and it's a really orange-based red. It's gorgeous.
so much for watching. If you liked this video, please give it a thumbs up and comment down below with something that you'd like to see next.